This video will show how to install the access code and set up the load cell for closed loop force control. Protected technology functions require the purchase of an access code. On the top toolbar, click Drive and then Set Access Code. This drive already has a code entered and activated. The purchase access codes are assigned to a drive and only work on that specific one. Besides the access codes, additional equipment is still needed. Our system consists of an isolated analog signal conditioning module and the load cell. This module's inputs are 24 volts and the load cell. This then creates an output from 0 to 10 volts. The load cell pictured is rated for 50 pounds. In the drive's installation guide, we see that X4.4 is a pin needed for the analog input. The signal conditioning module will be wired to ground and X4.4. Once everything is physically connected, we can set up the load cell and then talk. First, we need to set up X4.4 as an analog input. Under Drive Configuration, X4 IO Definitions, double click X4.4. We want to set it as an analog input. In the Analog In X4.4 settings, we change a signal type to Force. Next, we will configure the load cell. The analog force control settings can be found under Motion Control SW, then Protected Technology Functions. First, we need to select X4.4 as the input. Next, we set the 0 and 10 volt values. 50 pounds converts to a 222 newtons. We set the 0 volt value to negative 222 and the 10 volt to positive 222. Now we'll go back to the control panel and restart the firmware. Click Add Variable, then scroll down to MCSW Force Control. Double click on Measured Force to add it to the control panel. The load cell is reading a force of 3 newtons with nothing acting on it. We can go back and adjust the 0 and 10 volt values to make the load cell read closer to 0. You now can see the load cell attached to the motor, and that it's reading a value closer to zero. Thank you for watching Linmont Tutorials.